Alright guys, and we're back. Yeah, uh, today's episode we're going to show you the final, it's going to be the final uh, instalment really of uh, the tank just before Christmas. I might get one out uh, just before before New Year maybe. Um, I'll see obviously Christmas is a bit of a busy time for us all, so obviously making a video with working as well might be a little bit tricky but I'll do my utmost for you guys and uh, hopefully I'll get another video out um, for then but yeah quick look at the tank obviously um, just run over everything that's gone over in the past year to be truthful um, the good and the bad really everything you know the majority of the thing has been pretty good over this probably last year I've had no real big issues I've had obviously a couple of deaths um, but I've also had you know bought some really nice coral some really good uh, you know growth in the tank as well so overall in general it's the ups and downs of owning a reef I suppose but first things first getting on to the uh, to the new purchase that I bought as you know in my last video I uh, extended this little ledge here um, the little goniopora rock which I'll show you in a minute as you can see it's flowing but what I forgot to mention was where the Goniopora rock there was the GSP just here and as you can see I took the GSP out cut it out and what I've done guys is I've stuck it at the back there so hopefully it might grow up that wall and then the fungi plate which is there at the back in the graveyard I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of that um, it's absolutely massive um, but I think I'm going to get rid of it because it's just a shame that you know you can't see it but looking at the Gonia Porter, absolutely over the moon with this, the way these are looking. Really flowing nice. I'm gonna get another I'm gonna get another Gonia, but I'm gonna get a green one here. So we've got a mixture of colours. We've got, you know, like a light grey type colour. And we've got the orange, the, the, the pink one, and then we're gonna get a grey one there. And then maybe some another one for there for the new year. So that's just gonna be the Gonia Porter rock for sure. Hopefully it'll grow out and stuff like that. Um, I have did mention to uh, to Dom at Kraken Corals that I want um, another rock. I mean, this is a six plug rock. Uh, I think they were about twenty five quid, twenty four quid. So a little bit expensive for what it is. But I want um, one for this um, acans because, as you can see, basically one of them's been stung by the uh, by the candy canes and it's dead. So I need to get rid get get that out of there. Uh, get it in a bit of light. In fact, I might even do that today. Actually, I might actually put it on here just for the time being. Don't think it should shouldn't sting it. I don't think. Um, or maybe I might even look for another little piece of rock that I've got. I think I've got some rock in my sump, so I might even uh, get that out and then glue that to uh, to a piece of rock today because it's just a shame. It's a lovely colour, but it's just been shaded out by by this Ceratopia. Uh, and the uh, style also yeah overall um the growth of the sps probably in this tank has probably been the best over the past year especially these two guys have just they just grow crazy and as jay likes my uh, favorite saying they just grow like weeds um but but i mean the higher end ones like the uh my guitar which is here and then i have the rainbow one uh just here these have only just started to take off. Now, thankfully, they started to take off in a, in a pretty good, fairly speedy fashion, to be truthful now. Um, what these tend to do, these two, is they tend to base out a lot more. They tend, tend to get the footing. And then once they start to, once they've, once they've like grounded their base, then they tend to move up. And if you look back only, I was looking back at some photos, and... Uh, I think it was July, August. This was just basically like a stick. Um, so as you can see, within the last four months, three months, it's just basically branched out. Quite crazy to be truthful. It's really, really come on. And this was the same. It was just a little, little stick. But now the colour starts to really, really take shape now. I'm really getting really happy with it. The new one that I bought, this one, really settling in now. Polyps. A really really happy it's really happy and it's starting to get a little bit more color on it which is a uh, good because it was starting to get a little bit white just around the sides but i think over time 
we'll give it some time to settle in and uh, hopefully things will uh, will turn out for it. This is in my Aggie Torque which uh, snapped off and I just basically stuck, stuck that piece there and as you can see just look at it how it's basing around the back now. So that's going to turn into another huge colony which we're going to have problems with because it's going to be going into there. So we'll be fragging this back part and letting the front part grow out more. Um, I think that's the only way that we can uh, basically do it. So I'll have to order some uh, some new flags for the new year. The uh, Barlingany Slimer, which was on this part here, and I placed it here. Loving life, no real issues. Polyps, extensions, is perfect. I think because we've got the, the Nero blasting its uh, waves, waves over there, it's doing really good. The uh, Monty Porter growing. And as you can see, it's starting to grow upwards now. So I'm really happy with that. Issues we're having are these mushrooms, which I continually keep try to sort out. Um, I'm scrubbing them off, basically off the uh, off the rock. But if any of you guys know, I know some of you have mentioned calcosa, might do that. Some of you have mentioned um, lemon juice, squirt lemon juice on them. Uh, so I might even do that as well. Uh, but I definitely need to get them under control in the new year because, as you can see, there's just hundreds and hundreds of them that are all over the show so need to get them addressed and uh, get them sorted as for these uh, the clams they're just doing their thing absolutely uh, loving life and they're just massive just really really good really happy with the way they these guys have turned out and overall guys the the tank has, has looked after itself really I just basically uh, dosing uh, the usual aquaforest stuff which I'm going to go on to um, shortly but overall I'm really happy with the way things have happened like I said I've just had the odd the odd little death but nothing too too bad I, uh, if you remember I had the uh, millipora which was here that passed away um, which I was gutted about in a way but uh, it's just one of those things the other issue we do have is the growth of this uh, Satosa, as you can see, it's starting to grow on this this one here, and it's basically I've said it time and time again, guys. It's my own problem. It's my own fault. What I, what happened um, is I placed them too close together, and now I'm uh, now I'm going to be suffering because of uh, because they're basically just going to kill each other, and that's the issue we have because they're basically growing over each other. The only way I can really probably get into it is probably like with a, a knife of some sort maybe or or some of like that and just chisel away at it and then maybe put some putter, you know, some deep, some putty over it to stop it or maybe for, for it to grow over. That might only be the only case that I can do. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll figure that out uh, in the new year. But as you can see, it's getting, it's getting a bit intrusive with the others, um, especially up near this bonsai. So I need to uh, sort that out because otherwise this red one would definitely uh, win over the others. So yeah, those are the those are the real issues. This one, if you remember, if you can remember, this one was dying. Uh, this don't really know don't really know what name it is to be truthful. Stuck this on just as a ledge. It's not got nothing to do with this bonsai. It's not a bonsai. This is just different. And as you can see, it's starting to get lips. So it's starting to grow outwards. Whereas it was growing more pointy. So hopefully that could be really, really nice within the next six months or so. I think this could be a, a real stunner. Um just gotta keep cutting cutting back this this coral here. The Hirasuto. This just grows like like a weed, like I always say. And this is just like crazy. This is just a crazy grower in in my tank. But I've been talking for nine minutes now and I've not even shown you the uh, the main thing that I'm here for. And then main update for this tank is I bought uh, probably the dream coral for me. And as you can see, there he is, right in the front. And this, guys, is a holy grail white tip. So this is a true holy grail white tip. And I'm absolutely blown away with it. It's uh, two heads. Absolute incredible. This camera just doesn't do it any justice the color is absolutely crazy now looks very similar to this one this one's a little bit more yellower if you look 
but this one is the the true white tip one whereas this one as you look this has got more green tips this is the holy moly one the holy moly grail um, another stunning coral don't get me wrong but when you look at the white tip one it just this one just stands out it's it's absolutely insane it's absolutely stunning and i can't thank my mate for uh enough for uh let me get one off him i have been miving in him for a while to, to let me have it but he's not fragged it so i think that this uh euphilia garden now is about full uh going from from left to right we have the green tip uh, purple then we have this big it's like a white tip uh purple one now the polyps on this one are a lot fatter than the others i don't know why whether it's a different genus or or anything if any of you guys know but this one's got a green base as you can see it's just got a green mouth to it absolutely stunning then we have the dragon soul which is this one here then we have the green uh pink tip one then we have the uh the indo the indonesian one if this fish gets out of the way that's the indo we have the holy moly grail and then we have the true holy grail white tip so overall guys with the uh euphilia garden i think this is a uh, absolutely i think in fact this is probably my best my best uh section of the tank now for sure the growth the the look of it and i can't wait for the next the next year or so i, I just think it's just gonna absolutely grow huge this um the growth pattern like i've said before on all of them they're all four three four heads at least the indo i know has got about seven heads on it um the holy moly has got four heads on it you know everything else has got the the dragon soul's got four heads on it so everything is growing really really well um and it's best and especially since i've added this uh orfec or3 light as well just that extra growth the, the extra light i've turned my lights down as i've told in past I just run the Hydra 26s, the older AI Hydras, um, but I've turned them down. They're running at about 55 to 60 percent now, and and I have the um, the uh, the OR three bar on uh, daily now, as opposed to the opposite um, every other day. The Hollywood Stunner at the back that's taking really good shape. It was a little tiny piece, and now it's starting to grow really, really big. Uh, so I can't wait to see what that holds for the next six months or so and then we have this little this little sps guy acropora which was dying if you remember guys only what five about four or five videos when i uh when my millie went out and that passed away uh and i was like should i take this one out because it's dying it just goes to show a little bit of perseverance and uh knocking me out me salinity me alkalinity down and stuff like that it's starting to recover so can't wait to see what that looks like hopefully over the next year or so but like i said guys overall the tank is uh done pretty decent over this last year um all you guys comments love i absolutely love it i love uh i love doing these videos um for you guys and i love the reading the comments what you say it's great good and bad i absolutely take everything on board because it's how we learn in this hobby uh, for sure what i also want to mention before I leave is I've stuck two of these frag plugs here just on the underside of this as well because obviously if you look it's starting to grow underneath so I want it I want this uh, I want it to basically grow onto these as opposed to just growing under so this rainbow chalice is uh, is looking fantastic really happy with the way that's growing as well but overall guys the main style attraction of this video has got to be this holy grail absolutely love it can't wait to see what this grows like and i can't wait for the for more more growth on the heads and stuff like that for sure because i think it's uh it's gonna look incredible for definitely but once again guys thanks for your um continued support over this past year really appreciate it a lot thanks for all the subscribers that's joined um also if you're not subscribed and you're just watching this video on the off chance if you really consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it also don't forget we also do our uh, friday night live streams they're going to continue in the new year um i think the first one i'm not sure if it's the seventh or so it's going to be the first friday of the uh of next year of uh, 2022 so get over there and check it out um 
and I think it's going to be on Jay's channel. So his very first, very very first YouTube uh, live stream, which will be fantastic. I can't wait, and I'm sure he's going to do a fantastic job, 100%. Um, but like I said, guys, uh, thanks for your continued support, all your love, and uh, really great comments that I always get. Um, and even messages that I actually get from you guys, I really appreciate it. I love reading them and stuff like that. So once again, guys, I'm wishing you all a, a Merry Christmas. This is going to go out, obviously, just before Christmas. So hopefully you'll enjoy watching it just before the, uh, the festivities. And uh, wishing you all the very best for the new year as well. And uh, continued uh, success in your reef keeping journey. So thanks again, guys, and I'll see you soon. And I'll see you in the new year. Cheers.